Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, if you like commodities, if you like looking for undervalued investments or technical analysis, this is the channel for you. Ride this commodity bull market up with this community. So subscribe. Give me a thumbs up for this content and leave any comments or questions below in the comments section. I'm gonna go over gold and silver, a technical analysis update and give you my opinion. Uh, not all things look too bad, so. Uh, I think it may be turn around, maybe. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll look at the charts. I'll give you my opinion. So here's gold and silver. So this is the price of gold. We've got two kind of uptrend lines here. We are we did break through the downside of this uptrend line here. So this is the actual price of gold. So this is the gold continuous contract. So that's looking like it's a little more on the bearish side. Uh, if we're looking at silver, we've got these two uptrend lines. You can kind of see the momentum is flattening out and almost wanting to come back down a little bit. So that is, I would say, the not so good portion is the actual price of gold and silver. They don't look exceptionally strong. They've broken down trends. But if we were to switch gears and look at some of the actual companies themselves, I think they're painting a little bit different picture than the actual prices uh, of the commodities themselves uh, or money, however you want to call them. So this is the XAU to gold ratio. Again, we're still at this breakout point. We've got a low here. We have a higher low. We're stepping up into this line, ready to break out any second. Uh, it's been going sideways since August the entire time. And I, I'm, I'm very excited about this because we've got a downtrend breakdown here. So we've got a downtrend that was coming. We've basically flattened out that momentum and the momentum is shifting and, and, and about to go to the upside. Now, I am looking at this from a, this is a weekly chart, but this is a big long-term perspective look. I'm not looking at it day to day. I'm not looking at it month to month. I'm looking at it from five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20 years. This is a, this is a large, I'll say a large change uh, from a very like from a from a big vantage point view this isn't looking and looking for small little gains this is like a massive game changing look at things uh, which could change for a good 10 15 20 years we could see a very large bull market ahead of us for uh, the gold and silver index in relationship to gold we could see a very large outperformance so i'm very excited i like the way this chart looks with the higher lows and it coming into this resistance line because it has a pretty good chance of this breaking uh, the resistance line and heading on up for a good amount of time. Now this is Royal Gold. We're going to get into some of the companies and Royal Gold is a royalty company. So it's a pretty large royalty company. If you kind of look at the downtrend here, it broke the downtrend and we're not making a new low. It's holding on. If this holds on and we get a move to the upside here, that's a very good thing. And this could chop sideways for a while. Um, I'm not too concerned. I just don't want to be making a whole bunch of lower lows blowing through all the support zones. So this looks okay. Uh, it doesn't look bad to me. Uh, Sandstorm Gold, again, we got the, the downtrend line. We broke the downtrend line. We're pulled back, back tested the downtrend line, and now we're heading back up. If this has some momentum, we can carry this thing to the upside. I think it actually looks really good. It might be a good time to look into Sandstorm Gold. This is this would be one that I would be looking into adding into myself. EMX Royalty, another one that looks pretty good. Nice big hammer. This is a wick on the bottom. We got a nice little reversal pattern here heading to the upside. Uh, I like it down here. I would be a buyer myself. We've got a lot of a lot of support down here uh, underneath it, so it doesn't look bad to me. Metallic Minerals. Again, I like it down here. Uh, we, we did break out of this kind of pattern a little bit to the downside. Is it a false downside breakout? We do have a almost a bullish engulfing here, like it wants to go to the back to the upside. But let's wait and see. If we see some strength, I'd, I'd buy into that strength if it were me. Uh, Discovery Metals, same thing. This one's looking pretty good. We've got a nice bullish engulfing little pattern here. We had it contract down, nice tight, opening and closing price. And we've got a nice, looks like bullish engulfing almost pattern ready to go to the upside. 
Here's EXK. This one's got a little bit of work to do, chopping sideways. Um, we'll see what happens next week. We did. We're right. At, we're almost at this this area of support line. We might we may be right around it. So we'll see if this thing pops higher uh, next week. Anglo Gold Ashante. This doesn't look too bad down here. We've got support. It's finding support. We're not just blowing down, breaking down. I mean, obviously we pulled up and we pulled back. It's chopping sideways. Uh, but hopefully we can turn this downtrend into more of a sideways action, which then bowls up into a nice momentum to the upside eventually. Hopefully that's the case. Well, Cisco Gold Royalty, you can see the support line here, dipped below it a little bit and then popped right back up. You can see the buyers buy this thing up real quick to get it back up above it. So that's looking pretty good. And that's all I've got for, for today. So I... I it's it's weak, but we're rounding it out. We're, we're getting that momentum to kind of flatten out. Uh, so that's the things that I kind of look for is, is it staying below resistance levels? Do we have some large candlestick up days? Are we breaking downtrends? And some of the some of the companies we are, and some we're flattening out. So it looks like we're putting in positive work. If looking forward, looking in the weeks ahead, looking in the months ahead, we want to see that momentum either flatline and go sideways or move on up. Uh, that would be a very positive sign for me. I don't want to see big sell-offs, big big candlestick down days, and things selling off, um, going under pressure, meaning that the downtrend is continuing. So that's what I'm looking for. Uh, if you guys like this type of, of analysis, uh, join the channel. Give me a thumbs up for the content, and I appreciate you guys listening. This is Finding Value.